Hey crafting besties, today's video is going to be a fun one. It's part of the Third Thursday Thrift Flip Challenge that's hosted by my friend Tammy from the Rusty Willow. And I'm going to have a link to the playlist as well as her channel in the description box below. Check it out. It's always a fun playlist because I always just love seeing what people, how people take things and make them into something else. Or not even something else, but just kind of upcycle them, make them cooler or whatever. So today, my video, I'm creating um, three things, two which are a little like one, I'm not, eh, I mean it's fine. It just didn't turn out how I wanted it to, but um, I hope you enjoy the video and I think that's it. So let's get started. On this channel, I love to share easy DIYs and budget home decor. And if we haven't met yet, my name is Lisa and this is Our Gray House. Normally my Dollar Tree carries these wood circles that are thicker, but they didn't have them. So I spotted these. It's just like a little home decor piece. And so I bought four of them and I'm removing the beaded tassel twine thing. And I'll save that for another project at another time. But I'm just removing all of that. And then it has paper on the front. So I took a super wet rag and I let it soak on top of the paper side so that I could remove it. And I wasn't patient enough. I should have waited a little bit longer because then it would have been a lot easier just to kind of peel it off. But, so don't do as I did. <laughs> Wait a little bit longer. It would have been a lot easier to remove that. So I'm just removing it with like a little um, flat edge tool. I also use my little blade to try to get some of that off. But in the end, I have to let it soak a little bit longer. And then once they're pretty much dry, I take some wood glue that I got from Dollar Tree as well and I'm gluing two wood circle pieces together. Now there's actually a little notch. I'm not sure if you can see it or not, but I try to line up the notches and just glue it together. And then I use a clamp that I got from Dollar Tree to hold those together while they dry. I'm taking some antique white, I think it's folk, folk decor. Folk decor, yeah, that doesn't sound right. Anyway. Um, I'm taking some antique white. Oh, there was Neo. Neo popping into the screen. And I just do a kind of a dry brush, but a little heavier than a dry brush, but not like a full on coat of paint because I want them to look kind of rustic. And I do this for the front and, or well, the top and the bottom and the sides. While those are drying, I'm taking some tissue paper and I'm going to cut out a size just a little bit smaller than the piece of um, paper that I have there and I'm going to tape it down. You don't have to tape it down on all four sides, although that's what I'm going to do right now, but you can just tape it down on three sides and it works fine. And I found some images on Graphic Fairy that were free and um, I'm just going to print them out onto this tissue paper so that I can use it to Mod Podge it on. To. Now, if you don't have like these images or you can't, don't have a printer or whatever, you can use rub-on transfers like there's several cute ones that I had in my stash. I forgot that I had them, so I didn't use them, but like that one would have been super cute on there. That one wouldn't have worked as well. After you print out your images, um, my, my ink messed up a little bit, so there's some splotches, but it's okay because it just kind of, kind of add to the rusticness. And I make sure that the image is fitting like I want it to. And then I cut out all the images so they're ready to go so I can Mod Podge all at the same time. I'm just making sure that they're fitting good and I take some Mod Podge and I just squirt a little bit on there. I make sure to get all the way to the edge and I'm not trying for a super thick coat, just like a, a thin coat, I guess. And then I'm laying it on it. Now there's different ways that you can decoupage onto, you know, a surface. This is the way I'm doing it. I didn't really get that many wrinkles. And even if I did get any wrinkles, I didn't mind because like I said, I was kind of going for the rustic, you know, primitive look. And cut away the excess tissue paper and from all of the wood rounds. And then I'm gonna take my finger sander to clean up the edges. And you could use an emery board, you could use a regular sanding block, or just really make sure you cut close to the edge. But I wanted it to be neat. Once that's done, I have these wooden dowels. I cut those down to size. I just had a scrap dowel in my stash and I'm putting some wood glue on the top 
of the dowel and the bottom of the dowel. And then see, I'm trying to line it up so that it's sort of centered and not like kilt, off kilter or anything like that. And then I just move on to the next one. I'm just showing you the images. I used six different images because I wanted to. <laughs> so this is how the, the bottom and the top look. And these are going to be wooden spools. And I just love how they turned out. Now, if you don't want to do the decoupage, like I said, you can do rub-on transfers. I've seen some people online do stamps. Some people just use a paint pen or a marker and put on some designs onto the ends, or you could just leave them blank. I have not added any of my yarn to this or any of like my ribbons or anything. I just haven't quite decided what I want to use them for, but I am in love with how they turned out. I just think they just turned out so good. They just look so good. <laughs> I have tried to film this part of the video, I don't know how many times, and it's not even that serious, but I did want to remind you of a couple of things. Number one, this video is part of a playlist. I know I mentioned it at the beginning of the video, but I'm telling you again, just in case you forgot, I'll have Tammy's channel linked below as well as the playlist. So check both of those out. And then the second thing is I have a crafting group on Facebook called Crafty DIYs on a Budget. And I'm gonna have a link to that below. If you join them, you need to post something that you're working on or just provide some like positive, encouraging comments to the people that have posted. So, um, cause I want it to be a positive and like welcoming community for other crafters. Anyway, that was it. Okay, so whew, let's get on to the video. For this DIY, I took three signs that I got from Dollar Tree and I am going to be putting them together to make a larger sign for my front porch. I like to put it, I have two screen doors on the front porch. I like to put a sign on each and that's just what I like to do. So that's what I'm creating today. And I'm using paint sticks, the larger ones to kind of as braces and I'm putting, I'll put three, one on each end and then one in the middle. I believe I'm using the color fern and I'm just going to give it a rough coat. I'm trying to coat it, but I'm also kind of going for that rustic primitive look again. So I'm not trying to do a full on full coverage type paint job here. So I did not paint all the way to the edge because I wanted to go back with another color and I can't think of the name of the color. I just got it, <laughs> but it's, it's a little darker than the antique white and I'm just kind of dry brushing all the way around because in my mind, I was just going for this rustic primitive look and it was already not turning out, but that's okay. I did print out a decal using my Cricut and here's, here's what's compounding why I don't like it. The words are way too small. And the idea is that the sign is on my front porch and you can kind of see it as you pass by my house, you know, in theory, but you wouldn't be able to really read this because the letters are just too small to read. And somebody would have to either really have good eyesight, I guess, or I guess walk a little bit closer to see what the sign says and yeah so that's that's kind of why i don't like how it turned out it's a nice quote though it's a fred rogers quote and it says often when you think you're at the end of something you're at the beginning of something else anyway i just thought it was a nice quote oh look the letters aren't even all going on i have to go back and push them back down but if it was an inside sign it would be fine but it just you're not gonna be able to see it from this from like the front and that's what i wanted it for so I think I'm going to have to redo it. Like the paint is fine. Everything else is fine, but I just need those words to be a little bit bigger. So they pop better. Cause see, you can't really see it. And my, I'm just in my living room. <laughs> but I also added those little corner like embellishments and that didn't help. Plus one's crooked. <laughs> I mean, I like the sign y'all, but it's just, it needs the words need to be bigger. End of story. But let me know what you think in the comments below. Okay, this was another sign that I didn't like how it was turning out. Love one another, y'all, is what it said. The the aqua color, teal colored around it was not, I don't know. It just wasn't turning out like I wanted. And I thought I was going to be able to reuse it. I tried painting it, and I thought I had sanded it enough to get out any lumps and bumps, but I did not. So I ended up having to use this um, three more boards from the Dollar Tree. These are $1. twenty-five each. And I'm just removing the little hanging things and I'm going to put them together. 
the same way that I did the other one by putting some wood glue down and then placing it on one on each end and then one in the middle to act as a brace to hold it all together. Because the, to me, the signs are just a little bit too thin to try to just glue the signs together without having something on the back to kind of hold it all in place. And I am putting some heavier paint, paint, paint cans on there because the, the wood is not straight. It's a little warped. Then we're going to paint this and I'm, I'm giving this a good coat, not a rough coat. I'm giving this a good coat of Rust-Oleum's chalked ultramat paint in the color linen. And yeah, this, I mean, I'm painting. There's not much to say about that. <laughs> Once it's all painted, I'm taking this level ruler thing that I have in my office and I'm going to be marking some lines and right off the get go, I marked that one and it's crooked. It's not, it's not straight. So I decide, why were you so confident and you used a Sharpie marker? <laughs> like, why didn't you do pencil? But I didn't. So I go back with a pencil and I mark off all the lines and I actually painted over where the line got kind of wonky. And now I'm using the Sharpie. <laughs> and then I also use a paint pen to kind of mark those lines and just make sure that you can see them. And then I've got some vinyl y'all and I wanted to show you, I'm not doing this in real time, obviously, but weeding vinyl is not, you know, I don't know. Some people seem to do it really easily, but I feel like sometimes that's a little bit of work for me. <laughs> but anyway, I'm just weeding out this decal that I'm going to be putting on the sign. And I'm taking this Waverly um, chalk paint in the color ink, and I'm going to be painting these stir sticks that I cut down to size on all sides, except for the bottom, just in case you can see them. Can you guess what I'm making? Well, you could probably guess from the... <laughs> from the thumbnail. Oh, hello, Neo. Neo made another appearance. He's our newest little kitten. We got him back in December of last year, and um, he's been a lot of fun because the big brothers are going to be turning six this year, so we needed a little kitten to kind of spice things up, and yes, I still sound a little like I got, you know, this little sickness going on. It's been hanging on for months, y'all. I just, I don't even know how to get rid of it, and now... I bet you can guess what I'm making now. So I'm just kind of placing those on there, making sure that they're the way that I want them to be. And then I'm gonna glue them down with some wood glue, again, that I got from the Dollar Tree. I have some Elmer's wood glue, but it is so hard to get out of that container. And I have not bought another container to put it in because it just that's annoying that the container is just so hard to deal with. I do add some paint cans on top of the little paint stir sticks because again, the wood the, from the sign is not flat. It's a little bit warped. So I've got to kind of secure it down. And I also put little clampy things on the end. This is how it turned out. I love it. I distressed it a little bit with some of Jim Holtz's uh, distressing in the color antique photo, I think is the one I used. And I just kind of added some spots here and there. I love how this turned out. I think you may not be able to read it from the street either, but you know what? It's okay. People know it's a piano. I just think it turned out so cute. I love it. Here's another look at the projects that I created today. And again, thank y'all so, so much for visiting my channel. I sure hope you consider subscribing and giving me a thumbs up and leaving me a comment. I would really appreciate it. Oh my gosh, y'all, here we are at the end of the video. Don't click off yet. Don't click off yet because I want to know if you if you got this far, like what was your favorite? What was your favorite one? I liked, I really liked the It Is Well With My Soul. I really love that one. But also the spools, the, 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 um, the spools. I loved those. I love how they turned out. I haven't put yarn on them yet, like I said, but um, I love how they turned out. So let me know what you thought in the comments below. There's nothing wrong with the Fred Rogers quote. It just didn't quite turn out like I need, like it should have been bigger letters. So like you could see it, you know, from the distance. Like if it's on my porch, you can't see it from the street. You're gonna be like, what does that say? What does that say? Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> uh, don't forget, uh, as I'm kicking things under my desk, don't forget if you want to follow me on other social media, like here on YouTube or over on TikTok or Instagram, my handle is Our Great House, but just don't follow me in real life though, because that's creepy. Bye. <laughs>